Welcome back to the channel, it's me, Eric. If you're new, please subscribe. On today's video, we're going to be installing Cusco Power Brace on my Evo 9. Now, there may be some debate on the forums as to whether this thing is actually useful or not, but I'm going to show you guys why it's important. The finish on this is stunning. It's Cusco Blue, and this will pair nicely with the blue theme that I got going on in the engine bay. I picked this up at Kaju Motorsports. They're a local authorized dealer for Cusco, so if you need anything, hit those guys up. So on your guys' cars, it may not be the case here, but for me, I wanted to save a little bit of weight, so I removed the OEM crash beam, and in doing so, it did take weight off the front of the car, but as a buddy of mine pointed out, now I don't have anything tying the two front frame rails together. Sure, there is the radiator support that ties it together, but there is some structural rigidity to that crash beam that I'm missing now. So I definitely wanted to go with the Cusco Power Brace because it looks good, but also uh, it's lighter weight than the stock crash beam. There's also another reason why I got it as well, um, but we'll get into that later in the video. But right now, let's get this thing installed. First thing we gotta do is get this bracket and that bracket over there off. And it looks to be like a 12 millimeter ratchet should do the trick to get those bolts out. Now that we have those brackets off, we just need the old 10 milli ratchet to take this one and also get this bolt out right here and we should be able to mount it. So we ran into a little bit of a problem. Now that we got the new intercooler on there, this thing fits, so we can get to bolting it up. The horn just bolts up to the frame rail here, so no big deal. Now, on to the reason earlier that I told you I had for buying this power brace. As you can see here, I've got the Voltex splitter. And this thing works in conjunction with the power brace. These little brackets right here bolt up to the power brace. Without this thing, I had no way of attaching it to the car. Let's do a quick little cinematic of this thing.
One thing you may want to take away from this is do a little research on this bar first before purchasing it because not all intercoolers fit this thing. I had to learn the hard way but fortunately ETS was able to get one out to me. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it or got something out of it, please hit that like button and also subscribe. Till next time guys.